Batman and Robin. Why does this game make me want to break the cartridge in 300 million pieces with MC Hammer? Hammer time. Do, 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 do. Boom, boom. Why does he sound like after having a MC McDonald's, like McDonald's meal, and then takes a super big dump uh, or a bleep a girl during the game? And it's so slow. Where the bad, stupid combat that goes punching. Woo! The sound bleeps and blops and pops and poops and all that stuff. It's like having a broken record on repeat that's about to fly out the window. Wee! Duke Nukem 3D on the Gamecom is so tragic that you on a train line rails going left and right, it doesn't make sense. The speech sample sounds like a Dr. Love going so deep, like Barry Wright, oh baby. <laughs> and girls walk away, ah! The aiming is so bad and doesn't even register shots. When you fire left, right and up, down and all that stuff, it doesn't make sense. It's so stupid for this game. And the corridors are all the same! It doesn't make sense in this sort of game. It's not even 3D, it's more like 2.5D going to meshing of 3D to make it illusion look like it 3D. It's so... Uh. Oh! Virtual Fighters on the Gamecom! Fighters Mega Mix, more like a, a pick and mix that you go to Woolworths in the back of the old 90s. It's like very minuscule and your, your taste buds would get like super stale and, and it would be very sour experience. With this game, the punches don't connect for some weird reason. The combos are hard to pull off. Uh, yes, with the four measly buttons at your disposal. Oh, brilliant, Sega. Oh, fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. No, it's not fantastic. I don't know why you get this weird white flash to pull off combos, but it's so odd for this game. It doesn't doesn't seem to work with me. You know, you'll snap the cartridge in T minus 50 seconds. And also, what's happened with the soundtrack? It sounded like someone was basically going, popping in their like little cheekbone like and put it on repeats. Repeat, repeat, repeat. No, 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 no. Garbage, go away. Mortal stupid wombat combat, boring as fuck. Game, why? Why on the game calm of all friggin' places? Yes! Oh, similar to the Virtual Fighter Megabix, as I said previously. You know, it's very similar to this sort of awkward combat style. You can't even pull off the moves correctly. It looks like you're going to take forever to read a Bible. And in its slow, is like Amazon's delivery service. And I tell you this, guys. The Game Boy version of Mortal Kombat is a masterpiece compared to this shit right here. Yes, you heard me right. Game Boy does the crown now. This, this game... It's absolutely a huge mess. I don't know what Midway were thinking with this port. It, just get the PlayStation and the Saturn version. You're better off about this game. And the jumps are like delayed. Like you're going to the moon half a frame a second. Why? Go away. Resident Evil 2 into oblivion when you are plunked in the middle of the screen like a zombo wants to eat your bliss delicious. Brain juice. Oh my god, tank controls take forever to turn like a chess piece. The door animation takes eternity to load, yes, like the PlayStation 1 game. What the hell were you smoking, Capcom? <sighs> yeah, you were smoking desperation. And this is what happens when you give the license to Tiger Electronics. Leon looks like an old granddad, as t and he, he's so slow in getting his weapon, and, and the menus are odd, the button layout is stupid, it doesn't make sense. A garbage game all round. A Lost World of Jurassic Park. Da, da, da. This game is hard to fail. Why do you have driving sections sound like a, a screaming child in reverse? It doesn't make any sense, a sense, and sense. And also, why does a girl go, sound like she's having sex on a platter? It doesn't make any sense. Oh, this game is so slow and really short pace. The weapons are stupid and don't work. And, you know, <laughs> and you get hit by anything, dinos, and then all that stuff. It's so dumb. It's not the, it's not the best game ever made. Period. Just burn it, burn it, burn it, burn it. Get ready for some more pain.
Indy 500 is the stupidest game ever made and hard to predict in turning your supercar that literally bashes the wall like a pain of anger. In other words, super garbage game! Quiz, whiz, cyber trivia, whiz, 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 woo! No, it's not. Oh, this is a stupid game. Where we created this game should have been fired on the spot. I mean, you got this notch of banana brain dead dude who's basically goes, takes over half of your screen if you enter the right answer. I mean, that's such a dumb idea. Yeah, yeah, it's like a surfer lingo dude going to go like, whoa, look at my gnarly little face. It's such an annoyance. Oh, it's such a trash game. Lights out, everybody! This game is so boring. Why did someone come out with this game when you have to use the stylus to take out all the lights? Even if you take out all the lights, you don't. Yeah, yeah, it tortures you for like a stupid amount of levels. Who cares? Bye. Sonic Jam and Butter, a very spikeless when removing the icon of Sonic 1. That was a huge mistake. The running animation looks like a calculator having a seizure in one frame a second. And what the hell was Sega smoking? More like slow ass processing. In other words, stick with the mega driving. Boom boom! Brum 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 brum! And also, oh my god. Going up a hill, what is the point of that? The speed momentum slows right down. You can't even in Sonic 3 to go over that big tree stump. And it just drives me insane. If you guys enjoy this interesting top 10 worst game con games, remember to please like, comment, and subscribe. And as Retro Dude says, Retro Forever. And I'll see you guys in the next awesome top 10 video. Take care.